the friendships that you make here. Just how open everybody is. It is the teaching staff. They are so supportive and so helpful. Hi, it's probably the sense of community we have. Um, a lot of learning opportunities. I think it must be the teachers and students, the, the friendly teachers, like they really help me a lot about all kinds of stuff like... Probably the sense of community. We're all just like a big family. Just you don't always know everybody, but they're like distant cousins. Um, probably the community at Christian High. It's really warm and uh, welcoming and it's just a really great place to be. Um, I like that we still have the aspect of Christianity in our school with like small groups like with Roots and then things outside of school and stuff like that. I think it's like the community and you get to see all your friends every day. And well, I would have to say in high school you get more freedom than you do in middle school. Well, everyone is like really nice and... Yeah. Diverse amount of people. It's a big... Person. The teachers are extremely helpful and not only are they helpful, they're really caring. Um, on a personal level. Uh, just the people you're surrounded by and you just feel so welcome with everyone around you. And, it's nice. and in a way it's almost like a huge family getting together. Sharing. I would say it's an open faith environment so it allows you to express your faith without possibly being made up, made fun of, like such as a public school. So it allows you to think, grow spiritually. Yeah. Um, at this school there's always so much to do. You know, it's not hard to get involved at all. There's so many sports, and there's a theater department, and there's always volunteer opportunities and stuff to do. And I've really just been able to do so much more things that I've always wanted to since I came here. I like math and sciences a lot, and we have some great teachers for those, but I actually took Honors English my freshman year, and I'm not huge into English, but that was one of my favorite classes I've taken so far. So. Western Civ, Western Civilization. Um, Mr. Davies is a great teacher, an absolutely wonderful teacher. And communications and culture, which was um, sophomore year, and I went into it being really nervous because it's mostly speeches, the whole class. And my first speech, I was super nervous to talk in front of people, but by the end of the semester, you get really comfortable in front of everyone, and it just ended up being one of my favorite classes, which I would never expect. So. And the science classes are really good too. The teachers um, find good ways to interact with labs. I love AP Chem. It's probably my favorite class. It goes so in depth, and I'm because I'm really into theater, and they have a fantastic theater department. Uh, um, dance class that they have here, just because. Um, you don't have to be good at dance because they teach you it in the class itself. Uh, I like my art classes uh, a lot because uh, I think I'm more of a creative-sided person. I like science and math with, uh, the reason I liked them was because of my teacher's uh, English class um, per semester. It's pretty awesome, you get to do like film and Be yourself, just come, have a nice positive attitude, ready to learn. Oh shoot, I, don't, I have to think about this one. Get involved, you know, do what you love to do. And do your homework. Even if it takes par out part of your day, it really does pay off in the end. You know, don't be shy to try new things because you'll find a, not a lot of things that you never thought you'd like and a lot of people you never thought, you know, you'd enjoy being with that you really will. New ninth graders, there is no third floor and there is no pool anywhere. Any upperclassman tries to tell you that this classroom is here, don't listen to him. Be prepared to have a ton of work and no sleep. But as time goes on, you just kind of get used to it. Keep your head up. Uh, older people, such as juniors and seniors, are uh, really good friends to have and they don't bite. Um, with me, I thought that getting an A minus on test was the end of my life, but it's not. There's always another test, and it's freshman year. You still have the rest of the four years in high school. Communicate with all the teachers and just get a relationship with people so you can find the people that you really communicate with well. Never procrastinate because but it's a lot easier than you think. You know, you just have to be outgoing and make new friends, and it's really fun to get to know everyone else. I'm not afraid 
of telling people what I believe in and what I think about God and what he's done for me. For me personally, I love being at a Christian school for high school. Because the people I hang out with have very strong relationships with God and are very strong Christians. And so just being surrounded by those types of people have made my choices a lot better and uh, just... There are lots of opportunities to worship and uh, just to do and see God and it's not always necessarily like something big. Different people from all different backgrounds and different faith experiences. It's really widened my own faith experience and I'm thankful for that gift that we have at our school. Um, I would say I've grown a lot because of being able to talk about faith in classes such as science, we've talked about evolution and what a Christian believes in. She's helped me just understand a lot of different viewpoints of Christianity and it's just nice having a different view on things. Now, there are so many people who you wouldn't expect to challenge your faith and just help you, you know, they keep you on your toes and they help you grow in ways that you never would have expected.